Strategies for enhancement of food production. So here, the plant breeding one of is one of the technique which is which was employed for enhancement of food production nowadays. So new techniques have been coming to existence along with the conventional methods. So in the conventional methods, the breeding techniques like uh, hybridization or identifying a plant which had uh, good characters have been crossed with the other plants where the new characters will be incorporated. That is the way how this uh, conventional method of plant breeding was employed for enhancement of food production. Now let us discuss some of the important questions that are present in this. So the, let us start with the question number 1. Modification and adjustment of an organism to any change in local environment is called. The given options are A. Introduction B. Selection C. Acclimatization and D. Quarantine so here these are the various steps that have been used here first one is introduction when a new plant is introduced to a new locality or a plant is introduced to a new locality or a plant is taken from its native place and introduced to a or taken to some new place where the plant will get adjusted so that is the process of introducing is called introduction and uh, second one selection from the group of individuals which have been produced as a result of uh, reproduction, the one which are having better characters will be identified and uh, taken and the seeds from those plants are uh, sown as a next crop. That is the way uh, identifying the good, good uh, character plants and uh, that process is called as selection. And third one is acclimatization. So when a plant is introduced to a new locality, it is not compulsory that the plant should get adjusted to that new environmental conditions. Maybe that the environment may be quite different from its native environmental conditions. But if the plant get adjusted, so we call that as a acclimatization process. And the last one is quarantine. Quarantine is the one where when a plant is introdu introduced to a new locality, when it is uh, taken some rules and regulations have been proposed so that uh, depending upon the health condition and uh, the ad adjustment localities all this will be taken care of the quarantine. So from the given options the modification and, and adjustment of an uh, organism to a changed local environment is called as acclimatization process. So the, from the given options option C is the correct one. Question number two. First and foremost aim of plant breeding is the given options are a transfer of disease resistance b production of early maturing varieties c breeding high yielding varieties and d improvement of the quality so here the plant breeders that is the persons who are doing the crossing and the getting the better qualities in the plants their intention is to get disease resistance high yielding variety improvement in the quality early maturing period all these characters they will consider but of all these characters which one is considered to be the first aim of a plant breeder means so getting high yielding varieties or breeding of the high yielding varieties that is crossing identifying the high yielding varieties and uh, crossing them with the new local varieties such that uh, the new plants with uh, good characters will be obtained. So the first and foremost aim is breeding high yielding varieties. So from the given options, option C is the correct answer. Question number 3. Identify the odd crop variety from the following related to the method. The given options are A. Sonalika B. IR8 C. Jaya and D. Ratna. So here the crop varieties have been given here related to the nature. So here first one Sonalika. Sonalika is a semi dwarf variety which have been uh, introduced to India that is a wheat variety and IR8. IR8 is a rice variety which have been developed in International Rice Research Institute that is uh, in Philippines and Jaya and Ratna. 
these are the two varieties of rice that is semi dwarf varieties of rice which are developed in india so these three are the rice varieties rock crop varieties are rice whereas uh, sonalika is a wheat variety so from from the given options the odd one is a sonalika so option a is the correct answer question number 4 read the following statements choose the true statement the given options are a hybridization is easiest method of plant breeding b new genotypes arise during clonal selection c mass selection is more of a science and less of an art and d pure line selection method is more time taking than mass selection method so here different types of uh, plant breeding techniques are there like introduction selection hybridization and in that uh, selection also clonal selection mass selection and uh, pure line selection are there so when we go for pure line selection the plants that have been identified if they are having the heterozygous condition they have to be converted into homozygous one by repeated selfening process and uh, as to get the pure form that uh, character will be retained for longer period whereas in the mass selection the heterozygous one the, the from the group of plants the heterozygous one will be identified which ha, which are having good characters and that will be crossed but the time taking for mass selection will be less when compared to the pure line selection so from the given options option d is the correct answer question number 5 hybrid vigor can be retained for many generations by given options a mass selection b pure line selection c clonal selection and d polyploidy breeding so here the hybrid vigor means the superiority of the offspring or the daughter generation over the parent generation how does this uh, superiority will be obtain in the daughter generation means when the crossing is done between two different uh, plant species so that is one parent will be having one good character and other parent will be having one other good character when the crossing is done the two both the good characters or uh, may be incorporated into the offspring generation that means the offspring will be superior over the parents so this can be retained uh, so depending upon the type of uh, method that is employed that character may be retained for longer period or for the shorter period but if it is done by the clonal selection that character will be retained for the longer period because clonal selection is a process where a uh, plant is selected from a group of plants which have been developed by vegetative propagation that means a uh, plant with good characters when they undergo vegetative propagation the same characters will be transmitted to the offsprings also that's the reason why the, that character will be retained for longer period so from the given options option c is the correct answer question number 6 undesirable cross pollination can be prevented during hybridization by options are a bagging b emasculation c using male sterile varieties as female parents and d anther culture and colchicine treatment so here during hybridization process undesirable cross pollination actually during hybridization what is done is the two parents are already been selected one as a male parent and other as a female parent but these two parents are first initially selected are bisexual ones so when a bisexual ones are there of course emasculation will be done by using a forceps or a a forceps in the uh, male female parent that is other thing but here in order to avoid that cross pollination unwanted cross pollination so that the stigmas have to be or the female flower have to be covered with an bag like structure or polythene or uh, some uh, paper like things will be there with the help of that wing it have to be covered so that process of uh, covering that female flowers or uh, female parent is called as a bagging process so from the given options option a is the correct answer question number 7 during hybridization bagging is done the given options are 
A. Before emasculation and after emasculation B. Before emasculation and after artificial cross C. After emasculation and before artificial cross pollination and D. After emasculation until and after artificial cross pollination. So here bagging is a process which is done for avoiding undesirable cross pollination. So here first whatever the female parent that we are considered emasculation had to be done. Emasculation means the removal of the anthers or the stamens so that when emasculation is done self pollination will be avoided and uh, just after em emasculation there is a possibility of uh, other po the polygons from other flowers to reach the stigma so that means uh, the bagging had to be done after emasculation one and uh, whenever the stigma is matured we have to collect the pollen grains from the male parent which have been already selected and that have to be brushed onto the stigma of the female parent. Then after that also that is called as actually artificial cross pollination. And after that cross pollination also there is a possibility of uh, the pollen grains reaching from other undesirable plants also. That is the reason why after artificial cross pollination also we have to go for bagging process. So at two stages that is uh, after emasculation and after artificial cross pollination also the bagging had to be done during the hybridization process. So from the given options option D is the correct answer. Question number 8. Totipotent cells are basically the given options are A. Meristematic cells B. Cork cells C. Xylem vessels and D. Fibers Okay, here the property totipotency Totipotency means the ability of a single cell to divide to form into a complete organ or complete structure is called as totipotency so when we are talking about the cell to convert into a complete structure the cell should have the division capacity so in the given options the first one that is taken as meristematic cells so uh, meristematic cells are those which are having the actively dividing property so uh, totipotency is there with the meristematic cells the second one cork cells cork cells are the dead cells so as they are dead cells they cannot perform the division ability then xylem vessels the xylem xylem vessels are also dead cells so they cannot they cannot divide and totipotency is not present in them and fibers fibers are also the dead cells so these cells also does not have the actively dividing property so whenever we are saying totipotency, they, they, the basic thing is they should have a dividing ability. Dividing ability is there only with the meristematic cells which have been given in the options. So option A is the correct answer. Question number 9. Nutrient medium is solidified by adding. The given options are NAA, B sodium hypochlorite, C agar and D explant. So here first one NAA naphthalene acetic acid which is a auxin so this is not useful for uh, the solidification of the nutrient medium B sodium hypochlorite sodium hypochlorite is a chemical which is useful for surface sterilization of the which is useful for surface sterilization of the explant and third one agar agar is a chemical which is extracted from the red algae that is gelidium and gracilaria when this agar is added to the culture medium it is useful for solidification of the nutrient medium
and D. Explant. Explant is a material which is useful for tissue culture process or it may be in the form of a single cell, a tissue, any organ or any part of the plant body. So, from the given options, the nutrient medium is solidified by adding agar is a correct option. So, option C is the correct answer. Question number 10. Rhizogenesis and collagenesis are initiated by the given options are A. Auxin and cytokinin B. Auxin and zibberlin C. Zibberlin and cytokinin D. Cytokinin and zeatin So, the question is related to the rhizogenesis and collagenesis. Rhizogenesis means root formation and uh, collagenesis means shoot formation. During the tissue culture process, the nutrient medium is prepared. So, basal medium is there and the complete medium will be present. The basal medium is the one which contains all the nutrients except the plant growth hormones. Whereas, the plant growth hormones when they are added to the nutrient medium, we call it as a complete medium. In the process of tissue culture, when a tissue is grown on the culture medium, first it will uh, form, it will start dividing and redividing to form unproliferated mass of cells called as callus. If uh, the nutrient medium lack this uh, plant growth hormones, the, the growth will stop at callus without organ formation. But when the plant growth hormones are added, it starts producing the organs. So, here organs in the form of roots and the shoot. So, root formation is initiated by the addition of auxins and shoot initiation, root shoot formation is initiated by the uh, addition of cytokinins. So, rhizogenesis is done by auxins and collagenesis is done by cytokinins. So, here the correct answer is option A. Question number 11. Correct match of the following is the given options are A. Shoot tip culture, production of virus infected plants. B. Soma clonal variations, variations due to gene recombinations. C. Synthetic seeds embryos covered with agar and d micro propagation propagation of orchids in large number so here starting with first one shoot tip culture actually when the tips of the plants as it may be a root tip or a shoot tip is taken as explant we get virus free plants why because the viruses, the viruses are, will be dividing at the same time the mastomatic cells present in the tips will also be dividing, but the division of the mastomatic cells is very faster than that of the viruses. So, here when shoot tip culture is formed, the virus free plants are produced. The second one, soma clonal variations. Variations means the differences that have been identified in the progeny are called as a variations. But soma clone, clone means a group of uh, individuals which are formed as a result of vegetative propagation. Soma means vegetative. That means uh, variations which are occurred because of vegetative propagation in the or it is because of the mutations but not because of the gene recombinations. The third one is synthetic seeds. Synthetic seeds are the artificial seeds which have been uh, produced by the artificial technique of tissue culture and these are the embryoids which have been uh, covered with sodium alginate thing but not with the agar. And uh, last one micro propagation. Micro, micro propagation is a technique of production of large number of uh, species or large number of plants in a short period of time and this can be uh, applied in orchid plants. So, propagation of a large number of orchids in a short period of time is called as micro propagation. So, from the given options, option D is the correct answer. Question number 12. 
given below are a few statements regarding somatic hybridization choose the correct statements first one protoplasts of different cells of the same plants are fused two protoplasts from cells of different species can be fused three treatment of cells with cellulase and pectinase is mandatory four the hybrid protoplasts contain characters of only one parental protoplast the given options are a 2 and 1 b 1 and 3 c 3 and 2 d 2 and 3 so it is related with the somatic hybridization so in the somatic hybridization the protoplasts from cells of different species can be fused this is one thing and uh, second one treatment of uh, first thing is protoplasts the protoplasts have to be separated means so first uh, we have to treat the cell with cellulase and pectinase what do you mean by this uh, what is the need of this uh, treatment with the cellulase and pectinase means the cell is uh, covered with a limiting layer called as cell wall the cell wall composition is uh, by cellulose and major composition is by cellulose and pectin cellulase is a cellulose digesting enzyme and pectinase is a pectin digesting enzyme so when uh, the cell wall is removed the remaining part is called as a protoplast so in order to get the protoplast it had to be the cell had to be treated with pectinases and the cellulase enzymes so from the given options 2 and 3 are the correct one so option d is the correct answer question number 13 which of the following varieties can be developed through clonal selection 1 cotton 2 groundnut 3 onion and 4 sugarcane the given options are a 3 only correct b 1 and 2 are correct c 4 only correct and d 3 and 4 are correct so here clonal selection is done when the vegetative propagation is done is done or uh, we can say vested the the plant should be an vegetative propagated plant So out of the given options are cotton groundnut onion and sugarcane onion and the groundnut are the one which are uh, vegetative propagator species so from the given options option D is the correct answer question number 14 micro propagation is useful first one to generate soma clonal variations which are exploited for crop improvement two to multiply genetically uniform population Three to generate new species. Four to produce heterozygous plants. The given options are: A, one and three are correct. B, three and four are correct. C, one and two are correct. And D, two and three are correct. So here, micro propagation means the process of production of large number of plant species in a short period of time. So it is the one which is uh, it is useful for generate soma clonal variations so variations which are occurred in the clones and when such an soma clonal variations occur due to some mutations that had to be exploited for the crop improvement so this can be done in micro propagation process and uh, multiply genetically uniform species that is uh, whenever the genetical uniformity will be there in the population that can be possible only through the clones so here that is useful to multiply genetically uniform population so these two are uh, 
been useful so from the given options option c is the correct answer question number 15 regarding embryoids 1 develop from embryonic cells 2 develop on callus or explants 3 give rise to plants which produce artificial seeds 4 embryogeny resembles that of a sexual embryo the given options are a 1 and 2 are correct b 2 and 3 are correct c 2 and 4 are correct and uh, d 1 and 4 are correct so here it is regarding embryoids embryoids are the one which are which develop on callus the callus is an unproliferated mass of cells so that will be converted into embryoids are the explant a group of uh, cell or a cell or any part which is used for culturing is called as a explant that will be converted into embryoids and uh, second one is uh, embryogen resembles that of the embryogeny process will resembles that of a sexual embryo but basic thing is uh, quite different here so from the given options 2 and 4 are the correct one option c is the correct answer question number 16 identify the correct sequence of events involved in tissue culture experiment a preparation of explant b inoculation for growth c preparation of nutrient culture medium d acclimatization of plantlets e inoculation of explant f sterilization of nutrient medium the given options are option a c f a e b d option b c a f e b d option c c a e f b and d option d c d f e b and a so here there are different events which are involved in the tissue culture process so in the tissue culture process there are different steps which have been involved here in the first step uh, the nutrient medium had to be prepared so that is called as preparation of the nutrient culture medium the nutrient culture medium will contains all the type of uh, raw materials which are required for growth and development of the plants like it may contain amino acids organic substances along with the inorganic substances that is minerals which are required for growth and development of the plants if it is a basal medium it should not contain it will not contain uh, the plant growth hormones and if it is an uh, complete medium the, along with all these organic and inorganic nutrients it should also in include the plant growth hormones like auxins and cytokines so that is the first step called is preparation of the nutrient culture medium and after preparation of the nutrient culture medium that have to be sterilized so that is sterilization of culture medium or nutrient medium so what is the need of sterilization because as uh, as the nutrient medium contains all the nutrients which are required for growth and development of an organism so there is a possibility of growth of uh, microorganisms like fungus and bacteria which will contaminate the culture medium so when such uh, microorganisms are going so the nutrient medium will get uh, exhausted it will not be available to the actual explant which is growing in that culture medium that's all, that's what we can say they will spoil the culture medium in order to protect that culture medium from such uh, unwanted uh, microorganisms which have that have to be done that have to be sterilized by autoclaving process at 121 degrees of centigrade then after that preparation of explant or uh, making of the explant explant is any substance which is uh, used for culturing process like it may be in the form of a cell a tissue or any organ a seed embryo or anything can be used as an explant 
So this explains how to be collected from an, uh, f a plant growing in the field. That is the reason why first it has to be cleaned with a, uh, with a uh, st nutrient water and later it has to be surface sterilized and after surface sterilization with the help of some chemicals it has to be once again rinsed in the uh, water so that all the chemicals will be removed. So that is called as a uh, surface sterilization process that is the preparation of the explant. After the preparation of the explant, so this uh, explant has to be introduced into the uh, culture medium that is called as inoculation of explant. Introduction of the explant into the nutrient medium. This has to be done in an aseptic conditions where uh, in presence of laminar airflow chamber. Laminar airflow chamber will emit uh, UV rays where it will kill all the microorganisms present in that particular environment. So that is done here the, by using uh, laminar airflow chamber that is called as inoculation of the explant. After inoculation of the explant, so here incubation for growth. So it had to be left for growth of the explant by using the culture medium that is called as incubation for growth. So it had to be taken for nearly two weeks. After incubation for growth, what happens is uh, the small plantlets will be formed. Those plantlets will be uh, taken from this one and that have to be introduced into the field where the plant the, the plant should get acclimatized. Or we can say acclimatization of plantlet. That is adjustment of the plantlet to the environment is called as acclimatization process. So here this is uh, B and this is D. So these are the various uh, sequence of steps which have to be followed uh, during the tissue culture process. Those are preparation of nutrient culture medium, sterilization of the culture medium, preparation of explant, inoculation of explant, incubation for growth and acclimatization of the plantlets. So from the given options, option A is the correct answer.